Okay, I need to relay a really interesting story that I read recently in this book, The Fly in the Cathedral by Brian Cathcart, which is the story of the race to split the atom. In the 1920s, the big goal for physicists was trying to split the atom. And in this case, we're dealing with two teams, the Cavendish Lab at Cambridge and a team in Vienna. They were both probing the nucleus with very similar experiments. Basically, the super short version, they were shooting alpha particles at a target and then measuring the results of that bombardment on a scintillation screen, which meant their setups were very similar. They had a radiation source, a target, a scintillation screen, and somebody to count the scintillations because there was no way of doing it mechanically. Literally, they had someone sitting in a darkened room for at most an hour counting the flashes on that screen by hand. The English team had had a lot of success. This is where Ernest Rutherford was working, but they had only managed to kind of chip away at lighter elements. Then the Vienna team started getting really good results, like doing a lot more damage bombarding this target than the English team was able to do. And the strangest part was that the English team was unable to replicate those results in their own lab. It became a bit of an issue. So James Chadwick left Cambridge to go meet with the Vienna team to see what he was possibly doing wrong. He realized the only difference was the counters. At Cambridge, the counters were scientists. They were people who had really sensitive eyes and were okay to sit in the dark and be really bored and count flashes. In Vienna, they hired women specifically for this job. So Chadwick interviewed the women and he realized that even though they were not scientists themselves, they had figured out what the scientists they were working for were trying to do and were artificially giving them a count on the scintillation screens that wasn't there, but that would support their results. So Chadwick ran an experiment. He did a setup that was unknown to the women and he didn't tell them anything about it. And all of a sudden, the Vienna results matched the Cambridge results. I just love this story because I love the human side of science and the fact that something as technically challenging as splitting the atom ultimately came down to whether or not someone was able to count scintillations on a screen properly. That's it. Just wanted to share a really neat little anecdote.